What's going on people? Welcome back to another video and we are Tottenham TV. Today I'm back again, we're going to be doing another video. This time it's going to be about uh, the right back situation at Tottenham, all the issues we've got at right back and the rumours, who might come in, um, if there's going to be a right back to stay, go, who could uh, step up and really solve these right back issues. Uh, so at the moment, as we know, we've got uh, Serge Aurier as our first and mainly only choice at right back. Uh, we all know what our views are on him and whether he can take us to that next level. We also have Kyle Walker-Peters who's out on loan at the moment at Southampton and of course Juan Foyth can also play there and Eric Dyer has also played at right back in the past. Now in recent days we've seen Thomas Mounier being linked strongly with a move to Tottenham. He's a free transfer at the end of, um, well, whenever the, uh, I think it's June that his contract runs out. He's a Belgian defender and it was reported in recent days that he was going to come to Tottenham at the end of his contract and join Jose Mourinho. Now, um, uh, I've been reading recently that that deal is now unlikely to happen from different reports. Uh, I have no idea whether it will or whether it won't, but that one, that one looks uh, increasingly unlikely and it's going to be looking at we're going to be looking at different targets now so moving on um there's two main right back targets that i think we are really really looking at and, and two players that really could take us up to that next level to sort of um challenge at the top win trophies it's we, like i said yesterday we really really need to push on now i've been saying it for a while we all know uh, and the first player i want to talk about is nelson Semedo, the barcelona and portugal right back um, he's a 26-year-old Portuguese international with plenty of experience. He came through. Um, he came through the academy. No, he, sorry, he didn't come through any academy, which is quite interesting. He was playing in the third, uh, in like a, essentially the Portuguese Sunday League, where he was picked up by Benfica, given a five-year contract, and from then on made his name and broke into the Benfica first team before moving to the Catalan Giants. Uh, Barcelona value him relatively highly. He, they did offer him and Samuel and Titi as part of a swap deal or were considering to offer those two players as part of a swap deal for um, Tongi and Dombele. No idea what's going to happen with the Frenchman there, but hopefully he does stay. I do want Dombele to stay. Um, so that was offered to us. If we could, um, personally, I wouldn't take that. I would actually just go out all out to try and buy Nelson Semedo uh, for whatever price that they're asking for. He's Like I said, he's a 26-year-old. His strengths, um, he loves to drive forward down that right-hand side. He's got a lot of, uh, of pace, sort of. Uh, similar pace to, to Carl Walker say I think when we let Walker go uh, back in 2017 that was a big big miss and I think we've missed someone like that um, sort of helping out our attackers down that right hand side um, he's good with the ball at his feet can deliver across uh, he reads the game really really well uh, un unfortunately he does have some weaknesses he's got weaknesses that are very similar to Serge Aurier Serge Aurier we know his hot headedness and that he likes to give away a penalty um, give away just general tackles get sent off not concentrate, the list goes on. Um, with Nelson Semedo, it's not as bad as that, but it's sort of he similar in that he's got a hot, he's got a hot head in the streak. Uh, he's not great defensively. I mean, if you've watched Barcelona over the last season or two, you would have seen that they aren't that great defensively um, as they have been in previous years. He's prone to the rash tackle when he gets drawn inside to sort of help the defence. He's, uh, he's prone to making a rash tackle. So his, his defensive uh, ability isn't on par with his attacking ability. So going forward, he'd be a great acquisition, something we really, really need. But of course, we need the defensive side to be there as well. And hopefully Jose would be able to would be able to put that into him. Obviously, the Portuguese link there. Um, he, is re he is a really high, highly sought-after player, um, Nelson Semedo. He's got three assists this season in all competitions. Um, again, not great, but hopefully that can improve. He's still young, still has a lot to improve on, and hopefully... Um, Nelson Semedo could be a really good potential signing for us. The other right back I want to talk about is Max Ahrens, Norwich City's young right back Max Ahrens. He's only 20 years old and he got two assists uh, in all competitions last season for Norwich. Um, he's a dynamic right back. He's he's not tall. He's rather short. Uh, runs with the ball. Uh, again, pace to burn. Loads and loads and loads of pace. Um, he's really good in one on one situations defensively. He's strong. Um, I don't know too much about his weaknesses. Obviously, he's part of the Norwich team that essentially sit at the bottom of the Premier League. Um, and I do think that he, his final ball can be improved. He needs to improve on the assists. Uh, defensively, his positioning and his aerial ability isn't there yet. Maybe Jose, again, can um, can coach that into him. But these are both two right-backs with a lot of potential. Max Aaron's yet to make an England appearance, has plenty of appearances uh, at youth level for England. Came through the academy at uh, Norwich. 
Um, and like I said, he's a really good potential right back. Both both right backs here, Aaron's and Semedo, I reckon would cost between 25 and 35 million pounds. Um, again, it's a lot of money to spend on a right back, but it's a position that we desperately, desperately need. I think we've seen far too many times since we let, let Kyle Walker go how badly we need a right back. Um, it's no secret. Uh, it's just it's just a position that I think needs to be prioritised over the summer. I think we should have got an extra right back in last summer. Um, I personally, for me, I would go with Nelson Semedo just for the more. Um, I see why people would go for Aaron's. He's a lot younger. Uh, he's English, um, and they they have different traits. I would go for Nelson Semedo simply because of the experience. I've watched him play when Barcelona came to Wembley, and when I went out to the new Camp to watch Spurs out there, I thought he was. Um, superb. He's re like I said, he's a really, really good right back. He's strong. He's fantastic going forward. Loads of pace. The thing, the difference between him and Max Aaron's, I think the main difference is is the experience. And um, I think Jose, with the Portuguese connections, would be able to uh, turn Nelson Semedo into a top top right back. Well, I think he'd be able to turn them both into top right backs. Uh, but I think Semedo would, is the one. I think he can take us uh, to a next level, both defensively and uh, offensively. Off offensively, rather. Um, so that would be my preferable choice. I would also keep Serge Aurier as a backup. I don't think we need to spend 60 plus million pounds on two right backs. I think we should buy one and keep Aurier and sell Walker Peters permanently and then look at look at improving other areas of the squad, maybe defensive midfield and centre back, uh, other key areas I think we need to improve on. Um, so let me know in the comment section below what you think uh, we should do with our right-back situation. Are there any other right-backs out there in Europe that you think we should go after? These two seem to be the ones that we are consistently linked with. And hopefully we can at least get one of them in uh, with, with the Thomas Munier deal now looking increasingly un unlikely. And hopefully with a new right-back, we'll see less penalties given against us, less defensive mistakes, less red cards, less terrible passes across the face of goal. This goes on. But let me know in the comment section below what you think we should do with our right-back section, though, like I said. And yeah, come on, you Spurs, and thank you very much for watching.